Ever since I got into wildlife photography, I've really tried hard to get photos of coyotes. I learned early on that coyotes are very difficult to photograph because they can hear and smell you coming from great distances. Coyotes avoid humans at all costs. One day when I was out driving around, I finally saw a coyote. I pulled my van over at a fence. I climbed out and stood on my hood and began taking photo after photo of the coyote. It just stood there, a great subject. Finally, I had done it. By around the 40th photo, I realized something wasn't quite right. It wasn't a coyote after all. It was a coyote decoy used to scare away the deer. So I kept trying. A little while later one winter, my daughter was an infant. I used to take her out for late night car rides to help her fall asleep. It was the only thing that worked. One night while driving with my daughter, I came across a coyote running across Sandwich Street. It was so close that I nearly hit it with my car. I followed the coyote for a little while and I managed to get some footage. And then I was surprised to see that there wasn't one but two coyotes frolicking in the snow. Another winter, I was at the Detroit River filming bald eagles when I noticed a lone coyote walking on the shore of Pesh Island, proving to me that coyotes could get to the island and were pretty much everywhere in our city. There were others over the years that I saw, usually in the same spot in Sandwich Town, always near train tracks and always far away. It wasn't until I bought my first trail camera that I finally got some nice candid footage of coyotes walking around in the woods near my house. I was out with my brother one night recently. We were walking the Herb Gray Parkway trails with his dog when we heard a group of coyotes howling in the distance. It sounded like there were quite a few of them. It got me wondering though, how many coyotes were there out in the bush? I wanted to find out how close the coyotes were to our residential neighborhood, so I set up a trail camera on the west side of the Herb Gray Parkway Eco Crossing. This area right here. It's the perfect spot because there's an opening in the fence. Otherwise, the fence goes off in both directions for a few hundred yards. So if coyotes or other animals wanted to cross the Eco Crossing, this was the easiest way for them to do it. I set up the trail camera in the open, knowing that no people really went back in this area at this time of year. At least, that's what I was hoping. Okay, so we're right by the Herb Gray Parkway. There's an entrance here to the woods behind us. I've been hearing a lot of coyotes howling out here at night. Sounded like young ones. So I've got my trail cam. It's pointed right through this hole in the fence, which is one of the only access points to get over the eco crossing over the parkway. So I'm just gonna leave it here for a couple days and see what happens. It's not a very good setup. It's uh, things that I don't really care if I lose. So we got a clip over there. I've got the trail cam itself copper wired to a branch. And then I've got this horrible, horrible bungee cord, which actually started to break up a little bit as I was setting it up. So we'll see if that's durable enough to last for a couple days. I'm gonna try to be patient. I'll come back uh, maybe next Tuesday. Today is Wednesday. So I'll leave it here for a good six days. See if I could last that long. I'll probably end up coming back on the weekend, but we'll see how long I last. Okay, that was November 22nd, 2023. I ended up going back quite a few times to get more and more footage. Here are some of the interesting things that the camera captured at the fence over the winter months. I was looking for coyotes, but was also interested in seeing what other wildlife was using the eco crossing through the opening in the fence. This giant buck seemed a little bit skittish around my camera. Maybe it caught my scent. It looks as though my hunch was correct and that that corridor would be getting a lot of animal traffic passing through. It did not take long before I saw my first coyote. The coyote seemed to be a little bit skittish in front of the camera as well. Again, I didn't attempt to conceal the camera in any way. Maybe it was as simple as that. I read recently that coyotes are not naturally nocturnal. 
Throughout history, they have hunted during the day. But when they live close to human populations, they prefer to only come out at night. Again, avoiding humans as much as possible. These trail cameras work amazing. They can be programmed to film for up to three minutes, video and audio. The audio was important because I was interested to see if I could capture the coyotes howling or yipping at each other at some point. It seems like people are always posting on social media surveillance footage of coyotes in their yard, or sadly sometimes warnings that small dogs had gone missing in the neighborhood. And these cameras are very sensitive. Look closely, you can see that they even pick up the movement of field mice. Did you see it? The coyotes that I spotted on the cameras were usually by themselves, but on occasion they were in groups of two. I'm going to keep it up with the trail cameras over the winter months. Mating season is coming and I'd like to capture some footage of the pups in the spring. The eco crossing over the Herb Gray Parkway is a fascinating place and I'm going to make a series of videos highlighting some of the amazing things happening on and around it. Also, I like to see how many different types of animals I can capture on the trail cameras. It really gets the point across just how valuable the eco crossing is and how many animals are using it. And another thing, it's the time of year when bucks start to shed their antlers. This big one hasn't shed his yet, but check out his friend bringing up the rear. You can clearly see that his antlers have recently come off. If you have an idea for a video, let me know in the comment section. If you do find one of my cameras out there, please don't take it. It's not worth that much money, maybe 30 bucks on Amazon. I try to put them where people don't go. To date, I haven't seen anyone show up on any of my trail cam footage. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos.